Hi my amazing Scorpios, my name is Simone. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. My channel name is Simone Speaks as you see below. As you guys can see in the title, this is going to be a general love reading for all Scorpios, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and honestly, at the exception of Venus as well. So if you do have your Venus sign in Scorpio, this video could also be for you. I do want to say this, Scorpios, that we are in a brand new month. I am very happy to say that we are in May. Um, I do have a lot of different feelings for you Scorpios about what exactly is to come. Just putting this out here, if you would like to connect with me one-on-one -on -one for your own reading, which I love doing for all of you beautiful subscribers, my website is below. My email is below and I have a whole plethora of links and stuff like that so you guys can get in contact with me to get your own reading from me. So Scorpios, I really do hope that April has treated you well. April was not the easiest. We had a long retrograde block. I got a lot of comments and um, through the community chat we talked about, you know, the retrograde and stuff like that. And I was even affected. It was very, very hard. So in May, Scorpios, especially with love, um, springtime, we're getting close to summertime, guys, if you can believe that in 2018 already, we need to see for Scorpios what is going on. And if you did not know, you're new to my channel. I am Scorpio Sun. Majority of my chart is Scorpio. So I love you, Scorpios. I love reading for you guys. I love doing private readings for you guys. And um, so I'm really, really hoping that this message will respond to you, will, will resonate with you, and will help you and guide you. And so if it's not exactly 100% your situation or, you know, if I, the reading I do is your past situation, I really still am hoping that there's a couple gemstones in this video that will kind of lead you on into May successfully. Scorpios, I'm going to start off with a Celtic spread. And um, I want to keep it super, super clean and understandable and beautiful for May, the month of May, lovely May. So let's give ahead, let's go ahead and give a good last shuffle, Scorpio. Cut the deck. <clears throat> Collect the cards back up. And I'm going to start pulling, Scorpio. So hopefully for love, for at least the beginning half of May, your reading will be good if not great, right? Okay. Alrighty. Okay. So, like I suspected, Scorpio, you are going to be going into May with a lot on your plate, okay? Now, in April, I know you guys are saying, what, April was crazy, I don't need any more drama. Scorpio, I know. Scorpio, I know. But I gotta be honest with you. May is going to be a month where you are tested. And I'm not going to say for all of you that the ways you're going to be tested is negative. What I'm seeing so far from the cards I'm pulling, Ten of Wands, Eight of Swords, Eight of Cups, Ten of Cups reversed, okay? I really get the feeling here, Scorpio, that you are like evaluating your life okay your life is like under construction that's the exact words i'm hearing scorpio your love life is under construction it feels like your life is under construction um spirit here is even saying that if you wanted to get surgery or you want to be slimmer or you whatever it is to do with um how you want to look scorpio what i'm getting here is that you're going to change those things and for some Scorpios, this is going to be um, extremely quick. And then for other Scorpios, it's going to take you through a journey, through a path where you feel like you need to understand something or someone before you make your next move. Almost like a, a game of chess I'm seeing, where if you've had somebody, Scorpio, or a job or... Um, an idea, a project in mind, a product, a business that you are longing to launch, you're longing to just 
dive deep Scorpio and make this happen. What I feel here is that it's really going to be up to you to be at the mercy here of the month of May. I do feel like for you Scorpios, there is a little bit of resistance because this is fresh energy, okay? We had the Scorpio full moon very, very recently, guys. Um, more specifically, as you can see in the picture, um, that is the pink Scorpio full moon. That's what we had in April, the very, very end of April. So Scorpio, um, you are being highlighted once again. We have Jupiter in Scorpio. So Scorpios, like usual, you are always under the spotlight, okay? Very similar to Gemini, Virgo, and Cancer's energy a lot of the times, and Capricorn, I should add. Um, you guys normally have a lot of similar messages about self, okay? So if you have Cancer rising, if you even have um, Capricorn or Virgo uh, moon, anything like that, I would definitely recommend for you when that video is uploaded to look into those other signs because that is definitely going to give you the complete reading and the complete analysis of your love life, etc. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into your card, Scorpio distant past we have the eight of swords now the eight of swords is i feel like even though this is like the base card this is a crowning card for all you other readers out here that are watching this video thank you for supporting me as well i love to support you guys back and thank you for the love thank you for the likes thank you for the comments the beautiful emails i appreciate it but even though this is the this is the base okay and this is a crowning energy I feel for you Scorpios that this is the main culprit right here, okay? This Eight of Swords card right here, Scorpio, I feel is all you. And if I could, I feel like the energy really should be switched, but it's not. So I'm not going to switch it, but that's how it feels. It feels, Scorpio, that the base of how your love life is going to unravel in May is all seated in this kind of self-evaluation. Now, I was reading a little bit into um, the forecast for May, and I'm probably going to do, I'm going to try something different for you Scorpios, and I may do the horoscope videos um, throughout the month, but I'm not used to that, so I'm not going to tell you guys that I'm going to do it and that I don't do it. Um, but if you look up your horoscope, Scorpio, in regards to the full moon, in regards to May, there's a lot of energy around um, you you getting to the core of yourself and you having to um, basically like unwrap yourself like a present Scorpio and then have to look at all the components and look at all the, the, the moving factors of why you act the way you act, why you, you know, love the way you love. Why did you have that blowout fight with that person back last year? Like it's things like that, that the retrograde through the retrograde from the, you know, full moon in Scorpio. It's all these things um, that, that, have, that have happened, Scorpio, that have brought you to this moment. And so I do want you Scorpios, um, getting a little off topic here but i do want you scorpios to be very proud of yourself i want you scorpios to give yourself a pat on the back okay scorpio it's okay to champion yourself i know for a lot of you scorpios that april was a very very complex month um i can even chime in and say it was a very complex month okay a month that i i really didn't i knew it was going to be like that but it just kind of you know was was more than a girl can take okay and it was a little over the top and so what i want to say to you scorpios is that it's totally okay ten of wands okay the self position the way you're viewing yourself right now the energy around you right now scorpio you also have a card of ten of wands so like i said and there's a moon there's moon symbolism in the background as you can see, there's kind of this like hazy pink purple look in the background with the clouds. It's actually, if you take away all the wands, you know, the scenery in the card by itself, Scorpio, is really quite beautiful. But besides that, Scorpio, today on May 1st, um, whenever you read this, whenever you see this video, you see this video, it feels Scorpio that you have come out of a very, very difficult time. And I feel that for a lot of you Scorpios, um, Eight of Cups is your crowning energy. Once again, Scorpio, you have another big moon in the background. So you definitely are transitioning, Scorpio, into a different energy, into a different month. And, you know, I know how they love to say Scorpios can take change and all this stuff. But the reality is that sometimes, you know, even for us, change is not the easiest. So once again, Scorpio, you got Eight of Swords. 
Page of Wands upright, Three of Pentacles upright, Queen of Wands upright, Eight of Cups upright. Going through all your cards here, Ten of Cups in reverse is your um, immediate future. Four of Cups is, four, sorry, Four of Pentacles is your last card, okay? So that tells me a lot about where you're at, Scorpio. So basically, in your love life, combining the Eight of Cups with the Four of Pentacles, Scorpio, this energy is letting me know for you Scorpios that you want to give of yourself okay there's a, there's there's there seems to be a theme here what with with self Scorpio where everything is kind of coming back to the root which is yourself you know how you act how you see the world what what you think of love what you thought of your ex what you think of your current partner you know it's always coming back full circle to you Scorpio and so what the Eight of Cups is letting me know, which is a water element card, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Four of Pentacles. What it's letting me know, Scorpio, is that you want to be in a relationship. Um, I think for a lot of you, I'm going to say half of you, Scorpios, I'm reading for, you guys really, really want to get back with an ex, okay? I, I don't want to burst anyone's bubble here who is like in a relationship or dating somebody else besides their ex, but I do want to let you know that I feel here that um, you want to be with your ex, okay? You are dreaming about your ex. You want to have a baby with your ex. Like there's a lot of energy. And if you're a male, it's the same thing. You know, you want to reconnect with somebody from the past, but... I feel here, Scorpio, that the energy, especially on this side of the Celtic spread, the energy I'm getting, Scorpio, is that it's almost like you're fighting yourself. You're fighting your own feelings for this person, for the situation. Whatever the universe has been trying to push in your face, Scorpio, and you have kept turning your back and turning your cheek, basically, the cards here are saying to you, enough enough of this baggage ten of wands upright not reversed enough with the baggage eight of swords enough with the self-sabotage it's time for you to go in pursuit of your dreams to go in pursuit with the utmost intent to achieve your goals to achieve your dreams so this message scorpio is totally for love because when it comes to finding the one or finding somebody you want to date for a good amount of time right you want certain traits in them okay you want certain things from them you want to have a certain relationship so what's going to happen here scorpio is that you're going to have to first and foremost remove yourself from any toxic energy okay so I am hearing the words here cleansing um, I am hearing the words here renewal so I do think for a lot of you Scorpios it may may be time to try a different lifestyle or to cut some things out of your lifestyle and I don't even need to pull an Oracle card to prove that because the energy is right here I was gonna pull a card and I may actually towards the end with my new deck, Angels in Abundance, um, this beautiful deck right here, gorgeous deck, but I don't need to Scorpio because everything is here. And I feel that that's what you guys are going through. You need to, I do feel, I do feel here Scorpio that you possibly do need to cut some things out. Okay. Um, that also could extend to ways of thinking. All right. So if you've been thinking a certain way for a very long time about a person and, you know, the feelings have not gone away or the ideas have not subsided on a business idea or a product idea or whatever it may be, then the universe Scorpio is saying to you that with the eight of cups energy, you're going to have to turn a cheek Scorpio and you're going to have to start being fully in your element which is brave and strong and rising like a phoenix from the ashes you're gonna have to really really symbolize that scorpio i know you don't you don't like stuff like that i don't like it either the stereotypes and stuff but no you really do need to embrace what you already have scorpio and what you already have scorpio is the charisma is the drive is the the strong will and the strong mind and most importantly scorpio the intuitive perspective the intuitive ability to think beyond to see beyond and so if you're a scorpio out here that has that gift use it you know do readings for yourself um read horoscopes meditate pray like do whatever that do whatever you need to do to connect to the roots just like this tree here in the background 
whatever you need to do Scorpio to have everything connect for you this month do from now don't wait so if you need to get something off your chest get it off your chest if you need to make that phone call Scorpio make that phone call okay because your final card at least for this section of the month of May you have the four pentacles upright Scorpio so the energy that I'm getting for you, Scorpio, for love and in general, is that, oh my God, here we go again, another moon in the background. So this is a symbolism, Scorpio, for the ending of a cycle, okay? And it it's also giving me Pisces vibes. So if you're talking to the Pisces, I feel like this is also resonating with you. Um, because the moon card major arcana Pi is a Pisces card um, the queen of cups card is for cancer Pisces and Scorpio but instead of the queen of cups Scorpio you got the queen of wands so this is like prowl on the, on the town card okay the queen of wands for me for you guys in this reading is symbolizing somebody who is like sly you know you're on the prowl you know you're like a cheetah like a like a like a, a beautiful silky cheetah and and you're or a lion okay or a lion and you're just you're just out there and you're looking for what you want and you're going slow and then when you got to go fast you're going fast and the legs pick up and if that's it's that kind of energy scorpio where you know that things are changing okay moon number one moon number two moon number three all right so you have that depiction in every you have that symbolism in every single card so scorpio you know that things are changing you know that you got it you got to basically step up in a different direction um especially with love you know you're gonna have to look at some people this month may, in may through a different lens scorpio and it and it and i think that when you look through that lens scorpio and with the eight of swords again when you take off that blindfold, Scorpio, I feel that a lot of things are going to be revealed to you, okay? If they haven't started being revealed to you already, they're going to start to pick up. And you're going to get a lot of epiphanies. I think a lot of you guys are going to start to get a lot of lucid dreams, a lot of, um, I want to say astro pro project projections. Like, I feel like you have a lot of, there's a lot of, like, energy around new scorpio which is not surprising but there's a lot of energy around new scorpio of of connecting with the other world okay so if you if you feel that way during the month of may don't be surprised because that's just what it is all right now looking into i actually want to pull three cards okay as the overview energy for love so for scorpio love and i hope that has resonated with you scorpio i hope that has guided you and helped you and persuaded you and encouraged you scorpio to go in the direction of your dreams okay with a lot of cards here all right so the first card that catches my eye is king of cups the second card the second card for scorpio and love for the month of may at least the first half of may whenever you see this video is one this video is meant for you all right king of pentacles so you have two king cards okay king of cups king of pentacles and the last card is two of pentacles in reverse. So this definitely does symbolize, Scorpio, that you're going to have to get back in the balance. All right. You're going to have to get back on your two feet. Okay. A lot of you guys have been knocked over from this retrograde. I know you have. And if any sign can do this, it's it's you. You can do this, Scorpio. You can do this. So you've got to get balance. You've got to get back momentum. You've got to get refocused, Scorpio. And you've got to give it your best shot. So... I want to ask a specific question in regards to the partner or the person that you're thinking of right now, okay? Three cards for Scorpio. You can show me cards of the zodiac sign. You can show me cards of the situation. I want just the main the main idea here for Scorpio I want the main energy the main message here for Scorpio three cards and I'm gonna pull a card from here as your advice card for the month of May Scorpio okay alrighty so 
definitely because Jupiter is in Scorpio, Scorpio, you will have a lot of luck, okay? I think this has been basically the whole year, Queen of Pentacles. Um, the Queen of Pentacles also talks about practicality, um, logical thinking, not really emotional, but wanting to do the right thing. Um, and especially with the Hierophant card here, Major Arcana Upright, I think these, these two are paired perfectly. So I do want to say... Wow, for a lot of you Scorpios that there definitely could be an earth sign who I feel like wants marriage or is thinking about marriage and you may not really be on the same page as this person, but um, don't be surprised if there's an earth sign around you who wants to put you in some kind of contract. If it's not love, it could be business as well, Scorpio. Don't be surprised if there's an earth sign who wants a Pacific agreement from you, okay? I'm, I'm hearing, I'm actually hearing... I'm actually hearing baby daddy. I'm actually hearing um, like sugar mama. I'm hearing a lot of phrases with like if you have kids with somebody. And I don't know why it's coming off like that. But you, if you know what I'm talking about and it resonates with you, you know what I'm talking about. But basically, it's the energy here of, yeah, like if you have kids with somebody or you want to have a kid with somebody, but you don't want to be married. It's, it's something like that where... Um, yeah, there's a possibility that this this earth sign could want you to buckle down, Scorpio. Um, and when I say buckle down, I mean either pay something up, do some kind of contract agreement, or either get married. It could be it could be actually all three. All right. So I do feel here that for a lot of you guys, it's going to be the month of trying to establish partnerships, trying to establish um, long-lasting connections. And, you know, there's a possibility that a lot of these connections, Scorpio, you may not want to actually get involved with. But regardless, you're going to be, you know, swept up in it. So you're going to have to, with a page of swords here, um, you're going to have to really put your foot down, Scorpio, and be able to... Um, read between the lines because there definitely could be a lot of people around you Scorpio um once again I'm going to say as well as contract that may want to put you in some kind of chokehold and to them it's not a chokehold but to you it's a chokehold so I'm also getting here that if you are talking to more than one person Scorpio it's that similar kind of energy where somebody in the month of May actually I'm going to say all of May you could have multiple people or one person in Pacific uh, could be definitely an earth sign because Queen of Pentacles is strong earth energy. Could definitely be an earth sign Scorpio who's coming to you and legit wants you to be with them only. So if you don't want to be in a monogamous relationship, then you're going to have to switch it up, Scorpio. You're going to have to be honest and speak your your mind and tell your peace because there is these, uh, this energy here are people wanting to hold you to the fire Scorpio and if you can't do it you simply can't do it and that is going to go for everything in May Scorpio really please do not do anything sign anything approve anything unless you want to okay you are the captain of your own ship Scorpio okay Let's go ahead and pull your Oracle card. That was great. I, I really hope that that, if you, you know, I really hope that that um, gave you more insight. Once again, I do offer private, so shoot me an email. This is a card. This is the card, all right? Scorpio, the first Oracle card for May is Sever Vows of Poverty, okay? And as you can see, as I put the card on the side, the background in the, on the television is very kind of similar. So the energy I get from this card, Scorpio, is honestly the energy of confusion. All right, the energy of confusion, the energy of hard labor, Okay, I'm also hearing the words labor of love. So it could definitely be a, a moment in time, Scorpio, where you're really, really like mowing over in your head past relationships or a connection with somebody from the past. Okay, so I do want to say that if something keeps coming up, like if someone keeps coming up in your mind, Scorpio, over and over and over, or if it's not a person, if it's like an actual, um, if it's like an actual idea, I'm hearing again, like an idea, uh, you know, a proposal could actually be a proposal. Actually, I'm going to put this out here <laughs> for a lot of you Scorpio males. 
uh, this month you may want to um, get serious with somebody. I'm not going to say proposal, but there may be a shift in the air. All right. So the cards don't lie. The cards don't lie. There is you right here or the person that you are connecting with or we're connecting with. Scorpio energy is right here. Magician. Love this card. Love this card for you, Scorpios. Three of Pentacles reverse. Five of Pentacles reverse. So here's where it all ties in, Scorpio. I, I see exactly what's going on. So whether you're male, female, transgender, whatever you are, you're welcome here. All right. Ten of Cups upright, Five of Pentacles upright, Death card upright. These three cards, Scorpio, scream to me that you want commitment, all right? In the month of May, especially if you have Cancer Rising, Cancer Moon, a lot of those kind of homely aspects to your personality, Scorpio, are going to pop out, all right? They're going to pop out, and if your home environment is not the way you want it, if, if your relationship, if the way your kids are acting is not the way you want it, this month, Scorpio, is going to be once again like a test okay it's gonna test your patience it's gonna test your your goals it's gonna test your drive to keep going and to finally go through the ups and downs and still keep it consistent so it's not an easy thing to do scorpio but i know you can do it i know you can do it so especially here for the male scorpios i do feel like a lot of you guys here you want to commit you possibly want to propose to somebody or or bring up the ideas right of moving in or settling down together without a ring but then the ring comes after something like that where you're trying to see if you want to basically a test and trial okay like you want to test and trial if you guys can live together um but the word poverty which i hate okay the word poverty um themes of not having enough or not thinking you have enough are amongst the play here so i do want to go ahead and say in the nicest way scorpio with a three of pentacles in reverse you're gonna have to get back on your a game okay you're gonna have to if you have to go for training get training if you're gonna have to get another job get another job if you're gonna have to um you know see your your sleeping schedule choppy for a little bit so be it scorpio so be it because if you want this over here if you want this 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 ten of cups fulfillment absolute fulfillment card if you want this happy home if you want the study foundation scorpio you're really gonna have to dig deep here this is all you by the way this is all you if this is what you want scorpio then what the universe is saying here is that you're gonna have to you're gonna have to fight for it scorpio okay um you're gonna have to fight tooth and nail for it you're just gonna have to okay you don't have to physically or mentally toil over it but you're gonna have to put in the effort and make the moves start to formulate the plan to put in action for May so that when May is closing out Scorpio you're already halfway there you know you already got half of the plan unlock okay let's go ahead and read this oracle card all right to close out this reading hope this helped dear one there's no need to suffer or sacrifice hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have had consciously or unconsciously okay that's very important the key word is consciously or unconsciously scorpio in any lifetime as you do so all effects of these vows will be undone so if there's karmic ties if there's soul connections that you don't want to have anymore um you you know you have the green light scorpio to release those things okay especially if it's like past baggage you can also let that go if you want to it's you know the balls in your court scorpio it goes on to say this as you do so all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone for everyone which is very very powerful involved in all directions of time so once again Here's the illustration. If you want to pause the video to look at it, go ahead. But it's very, all your cards, Scorpio, shoot out these words to me. Transition. Getting real. Planning. Executing. Healing. Forgiveness. Empowerment. Power. Guidance intuition those are the 10 words scorpio that for the month of may you need to cling on to and understand 
so that you can be successful in the month of May. Scorpio, my beautiful, amazing, handsome, smart, charismatic, creative, amazing, absolutely amazing Scorpios, this is your May reading. Namaste, God bless, and I'll see you on the next video, okay? Take care. Bye.